Today we're going to be looking for some sundews. Now I checked about five different locations online and we had a little bit of trouble because the lot seemed closed or you need to schedule a tour or they won't let you in. And in fact, even at the area where we're at right now, there's supposedly like a university property area where they may or may not let me in. We'll find out today. Uh, but we came to this first boardwalk here and if we're lucky, we'll find everything we're looking for in this area. I can record the video and we'll be on our way back home. So, is there anything along this boardwalk? Well, let's find out. So here we are at the entrance of the bog and I already started having a panic attack because all I saw was grass and ferns. There was no sphagnum moss, no larches. So I start thinking, great, there's not going to be any sundews. This is a four hour round trip burning gas for no reason. But then I reminded myself, you know, calm down, Elliot Roger. There might be some sundews right around the corner. So let's continue onward and see if we do end up finding them. All right, so I traveled kind of halfway down this boardwalk. After seeing only those Ciracinia purpurea, I was kind of sad, which is a weird thing to say because you should be happy when you see wild Ciracinia purpurea. But I've seen so many of those that I wanted to finally see some sundews, and we found them. They're down here among all these grasses, and of course, you know, kind of had to walk down the boardwalk on my knees to be able to see them. So let's turn the camera around, zoom in, see some of these sundews. All right, so here they are. And of course, it's very hard to see them. So zooming in, trying to get this. Uh, I guess my shadow is okay. Uh, as I've always said, the sphagnum moss is a good indicator that there will be some kind of carnivorous plants around if they are present. And here we see some Drosera rotundifolia poking out of the sphagnum moss. And here we have kind of, you know, more individual plants. And then under this uh, branch here, you can see that there are clusters of them growing. And then, you know, just kind of random ones. There's a larger one here in between the grasses and kind of over here in the sunlight. You know, there's one right there, and then there's just random ones popping up all around this sphagnum moss. So in this little area, it just seems to be a Drosera rotundifolia uh, population. And over here we've got, of course, a Saracenia purpurea, and nice pictures on this one. They're very fat and big, a lot bigger than those uh, other ones that I saw at those uh, other locations in the previous two videos. And if we kind of poke around here, yeah, we can find some sundews sticking out. Um, there's more kind of uh, in this area. And these seem to be all rotundifolia. So, so let's move on a little further and see if we can find any other types of sundews. All right, so we're only a few feet away from that purpurea that I just recorded and in the opening, in the grass here, we can see more Drosera rotundifolia. They're kind of anywhere there's an opening in the grass. There's more kind of down here. Then we kind of go over into that opening more in the light. And there are plenty of these sundews all over the place here. And nice uh, cluster of them over in this small area. And then they even extend into the shady grass. And there seems to be, you know, two different types. There's some that have no coloration on their tentacles, but those are in the shade. So I'm going to assume that they are just the regular form, not some kind of rare albino form. Although there is some that are growing in the same area and uh, they have more pink to their tentacles than the other ones. But like I said, that's probably the sunlight. Uh, you can see that one was successful catching some bugs. Um, so that's all we see for right now, but we're going to keep going down this trail and see if we can find Drosera intermedia, possibly Drosera linearis. I heard that there are three species here, although we will have to find out. And another purpurea, they're all in flower now, so it's relatively easy to find them because, you know, you kind of walk through and the only purple flowers that are here 
well, other than those, are the purpureas, the Saracenias, Saracenia purpurea. All right, let's keep going and uh, see if we can find anything else. All right, so as we're coming up on this area, there is some Saracenia purpurea again, of course, nice dark flowers. But then as we go and we see this little ridge by the tree, it's very interesting. There is a small Saracenia purpurea and then this ridge of sundews. These are very large now. I'm guessing because they have full sunlight, it's better for them to be growing more. So a nice little population kind of just floating on this small island here. Now we're in a similar situation like that uh, red purpurea site in the second video. There are flowers out there, so you can see there are more of these Saracenia, but that's kind of far off the floating trail. So if we attempted to go back there to take a video, we'd probably sink down and I didn't bring my boots anyways. So uh, we will just have to skip over that, but we will kind of scan this area here to see if there's any sundews, but there don't appear to be any, just some moss and ferns and things like that. So we'll continue onwards, see what we can find. All right, so here's another area of interest because not only do we have a lot of them, down here there are some very, very large ones as you can see. Uh, that's like, you know, the width of two of my fingers. So they're growing rather large here, although I think that these ones poking out, they're either small divisions or most of them do have these long kind of arms. You just can't tell since they're buried in the sphagnum moss. You know, like this one, you can see it's uh, up further kind of by the surface and it's got very long leaves as well. Something you don't usually see in cultivation because most people cultivate them in full sunlight, but here in the shady areas, they will tend to grow some very, very long arms. Okay, so in this next spot, there are thousands of sundews under this leaf. So that was a nice shot to get at the very end. And then after this, I wanted to go to another bog, which I'll call Bog C. And about half a mile away from it was Bog S. And then when I got to Bog C, it was closed off. It had a you know barbed wire fence and big signs saying no trespassing. And normally I would just jump the fence, but I figured, well, if I record a video here anyways and put it on YouTube, somebody might see it and then they'll say, hey, I recognize that you know area and he's not supposed to be there. So uh, kind of a dumb mistake that I did not know that the public one was half a mile away, but there's lots of different places I can see Drosera Intermedia, so we'll just go to a location closer to my house to record the video for those. Alright, so that might be it for this video. I didn't realize that the trail already ended and we are by the, you know, fork in the road here where we first came in, and it turned out there are even some of the Drosera rotundifolias right by the pitcher plants that we first saw. So, it just goes to show if you're not looking hard enough, you can miss something, especially something that small. Although, after screening this whole area, I only found the rotundifolia, no intermedia, no linearis. I didn't think there would be linearis here, but, you know, they mentioned it on the website, so I thought, well, maybe if we get lucky. But I thought there would at least be intermedia. All right, so that's going to wrap up this video, and we will check kind of further down the road there's supposed to be an area. Maybe we will see if we can get in. have never been here, so I don't really know what it's like if it's, you know, just a gate that you can, you know, walk through. So we'll see, but this might be the end of the video, and if it is, well, then I hope you enjoyed this trip, saw some purpureas, and saw those Drosera rotundifolia. Might be one of my favorite sundews, kind of behind Shizandra. All right, so uh, I guess in a few days, I might go to another location in a different state. You kind of have to arrange tours, so that's why I didn't go today, because I like just going of my own will whenever I want, but they make you arrange it or else you're not supposed to go in. 
So, see you in the next video, I guess. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified when I make those new carnivorous plants in the wild videos. Alright, so hope you enjoyed, and uh, I guess I'm out of here.